Here comes somebody. Bethany. Stephanie. Bethany. 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 Beth
Bishop 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 Bishop
He did. I rolled down the car window he was driving. And I said, pardon, Monsieur J. Grand Fat, well, in my uh, cafe. And he told me, and he told me, my friend that was driving says, what did he say? And I said, I have the slightest idea. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't rehearse the answer to the question. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Forget about it. Let me see, it comes out to better than 268,000 cases closed out in the four years. Schweiss versus only 190,000 uh, in the preceding four years. That's right. We have uh, outperformed anyone uh, in the history of the uh, agency, uh, Mr. President, and we can continue. We have almost doubled in almost every year. There is no year that anyone can come close to anything that we've done, and that's again with the approach that you've advocated, that's with the support that you've given us, and that's with the commissioners you've given us. And you know, with 10 percent of employees, right? We, got, uh, we are 10 percent down employees, and we've done a lot better job. And I think that's what we came in office to do. Uh, we have an operation that without any budget increase, we've gone from zero to 300 computers, we've gotten to many computer systems. Uh, management system and new business of life. So we're, we're on the cutting edge. Right? If we have the numbers to show. And we're still here. Thank you very much for the president. I appreciate it. Please do it. It's, uh, it's absolutely fantastic. All right. You got to do it that way. Well, we're going to try it. Uh, I, uh, again, we have a, uh, an opportunity to be about in the agency, we have uh, uh, done the job. We would like to stress that we have a positive record, that we think that we should never back down. Uh, we, the second thing is that we would like to see us in the next couple of years uh, push a very positive agenda. Um, that point is one that I can't stress enough. Um, what they try to say about us is that we're against this and against that. What we are for is the same thing as it does. My grandfather is okay? And he was just like you are, tall, strong, uh, and never backed down from anything. And the attitude is that he had conservative values. He, he was very religious. Uh, each word of work ethic is that you've got to learn how to work. Okay? I think that we have to somehow turn the debate around to make it clear that, it, so that those values are the critical values that are going to include minorities in the free enterprise system, which is the best. We are going to have to push those values. You're doing it with the working group on the family. We have done it with Project 2000. Secretary Brock is looking at Secretary Youth 2000. We have got to push the positive agenda, Mr. President. I think that should be your legacy. Um, because there are people who are still excluded. Um, and I think this meeting is a very important meeting because I'm going up for confirmation and they are just butchering the civil rights up coming up there. And we have a record, we shouldn't permit that to happen. So, and there are two You know, I'm from, I grew up in the same so, okay, born and raised. I have nothing to apologize for in that regard. And not one of these programs got me out of it. It was one man who could not read and write who said, you will learn how to work now. A reporter came into my office once when I first joined the administration. This is my sixth birthday in the administration, I'm 38. Okay, so I, I've been here a while. Um, he came to my office and said, you have a tough one. How? Grew up here with my grandfather, Pinpoint, Georgia, born there, raised by my grandparents, went to Yale Law School, I'm an assistant secretary, and I'm still not 33 years old. How is that tough? Okay, I think that we have an opportunity to take others 
who are similarly situated and give them the exact same opportunity. And I think that under your leadership, you're the only person that I have known since I've been alive who can, from a nationwide basis, do the exact same thing my grandmother did. And I just stand by those values. It's if we are not back in there. And uh, I would like to support you in that effort. I think you are the right person. I support you. Okay. <laughs> That's bottom line. I, I'll do anything you that, uh, to make this effort work. Okay. Thank you very much. That's, uh, thanks for sitting here. Take care. This has been the highlight of my career. I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you, Mr. President.